Later this week, we do have a couple of warmer days on tap on Thursday and Friday, but first we do have to deal with a little bit of some cooler conditions as we head into the overnight tonight and into tomorrow. So taking a look at your 24, we do have a mix of sun and clouds right now, and we will be looking at that continuing through the overnight. We'll see partly cloudy skies, but then as we're waking up tomorrow morning, it will be chilly with temperatures getting down into the upper 30s to near 40 degrees. You'll definitely want to bring the jacket out with you as you're heading out the door, and we are going to be seeing some cloud cover working in as we head into the morning hours and we'll see temperatures topping off in the middle 50s, which is about five degrees cooler than average for this time of year. So another seasonably cool day for this time of year. Now, as we take a look at the current conditions, we do have a mix of sun and clouds looking from our Monarch Place sky cam. Temperatures right now look, look running again on the cooler side. We have winds coming in out of the west at about 14 miles per hour, and we do have some good visibility right now. Taking a look at the satellite radar, a few scattered showers came in through, come through earlier today, but we do have some clearing now as we do have the mix of sun and clouds. Widening our view out just a little bit more, we have an upper level disturbance passing well off to our north, which is why this entire area right here in the northeast is dealing with a little bit of some unsettled weather. That will continue to lift off to our north, and we will be giving way to some sunny skies as we head into the day tomorrow. So in terms of precipitation, the Climate Prediction Center has put their newest outlook and right now the northeast is trending just a little bit wetter than normal for this time of year as we are expecting to see some decent rainfall heading into the weekend. So let's time that out for you right now in the future cast. We're looking at a cold front coming through. We have an area of low pressure that's going to be forming along the Gulf Coast states and that's going to be moving up the sh up to the north towards the Great Lakes states and we have a cold front stretching all the way down as well. Saturday is looking like a mainly dry day with mainly cloudy skies and then that cold front is going to come a little bit closer to us as we head into Sunday morning. We can see some light showers to start off and then as that front inches closer to us. We could be looking at some moderate rainfall as well as some embedded downpours that could last through the day on Sunday and then even into the beginning half of the day on Monday before we do look to dry out for the next for the rest of the week next week. So in terms of what we can expect in terms of uh, what we can see for rainfall, this is an early estimate right now, but we could be seeing anywhere between a half inch to an inch and a half of rainfall. Now we will continue to watch this as we get a little bit closer heading into next week. Now in terms of temperatures, the Climate Prediction Center also putting out their temperature outlook and you can see here the west coast is going to be trending a little bit above normal for this time of year, but pretty much as we head toward west of or east of the Rockies, I should say, a lot of the country is going to be trending well below normal, and that does include here in New England as we are looking at temperatures trending just a few degrees below normal, maybe about 5 to 10. But we do run milder first as we head into the weekend, so the pick of the week is definitely going to be Friday as we see temperatures trending a little bit warmer heading into the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. That's about 20 degrees above where we should be for this time of year. Heading into the second half of the weekend and into next week, we'll see temperatures moderating a little bit more closer to seasonable and then running a few degrees below normal as we head into next week. So for tonight, we'll be looking at partly cloudy skies. It will be chilly. We'll see temperatures getting down into the middle and upper 30s, and we'll see winds calming down as well, coming in out of the west at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Your day tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds, another breezy day though with gusts up to 30 miles per hour possible, and we'll be on the chillier side, especially with those breezes with temperatures only getting up into the middle 50s, but then we do start to warm things up as we head into Thursday and Friday with high in the 70s and 80s and then here's that system coming in for the weekend where we could be looking at some soaking rainfall as well as some gusty winds possibly lasting into the day on Monday and then we do look to trend a little bit drier and seasonable as we head into the following week. That's a check